Hey everybody, Mr. Quick here, ready for the flip class. And in fact, uh, before we get to the flip class, I'm actually going to go on a little drive. So I just thought I'd do a little quick introduction. Now, I know it's a little unusual, but you got to understand, your teachers are regular people, just like you, just like your parents, just like your family, your friends. But we're just normal people. We don't do anything weird. So if I need to run some errands, I'm going to run some errands in my car. Okay? I have a drink for my ride. I sometimes stop at McDonald's, and I listen to music as well. So just normal things. And in fact, before we jump into the flip class, I want to listen to a little music right now. Now, again, normal guy here. I like to listen to pretty hard rock, so this might be a little bit of a shock to you guys. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is my jam! Alright, I'm gonna listen to this. You guys, check out this man. Okay, everybody, today we're going to talk about least common multiple. Okay? The product of a number and another number is a multiple of those numbers. For example, 6 times 5 gives you 30. 30 would then be a multiple of 6. 30 is also a multiple of 5. Let's look at the multiples of 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 7 is 35. And we could go on and on. All of these numbers are then multiples of 5. In the case of uh, our example, 30 is also a multiple of 6 because you could do 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times uh, 5 is 30. So that's a multiple that they both have in common. In, a number can be a multiple of uh, several different numbers. For example, if we did our multiples of 10, 10 times 1 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, 10 times 3 is 30. 30 is a multiple of 10, 30 is a multiple of 5, 30 is a multiple of 6. Let's move on. The least common multiple of two numbers, or more than two numbers, is the smallest multiple that both numbers have in common. Here are some examples. So if I asked you to find the least common multiple, or LCM, of 4 and 7, I always make a little chart. Start with 4 on top, 7 below, and then I count out. 4, 8, 12, just skip counting really, 16, 20, 24, 28. I'll stop right there because I know that 28 is a multiple of 7. If I had stopped at 20, I wouldn't find the least common multiple yet, and I'd have to keep going. I'd have to go to 24 to 28. Okay? Start below. 7. 14, 21, 28, okay. Both 4 and 7 have 28 as a multiple. That is a common multiple. Since none of the other numbers that you see listed here, none of these numbers and none of these numbers, are common multiples, the least common multiple, the smallest multiple they have in common, is 28. So in this case, the least common multiple of 4 and 7 is 28. Okay, here I've give, given a little bit bigger example. We have, I'm asking you to find the least common multiple of 12, 10, and 15, three different numbers. I'm going to do the same thing 12, 10, 15. Okay, let's go 12, 24, 36, 48. 60, 72. Stop there for now. Multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I'm going to stop there. I'm not done. 
I see that both 12 and 10 ha uh, have 60 in common as a multiple. But that doesn't necessarily mean that 15 is going to work out that way. Let's see. 15, 30, 45, 60. Okay. So as it turns out, the least common multiple that they all have in common is 60. So the LCM, or least common multiple, of 12, 10, and 15 is 60. Now I want to point something out here. I'm going to switch colors to blue so you can see what I'm talking about. 15 has 30 as a multiple. 10 has 30 as a multiple. If I was only finding the least common multiple of 10 and 15, my answer would be 30. But you'll see that 12 does not have 30 in common. So if I'm asking you to find the least common multiple of three numbers or four numbers or m multiple numbers, it has to be the number that all three of them have in common. In this case, it is 60. Okay, tomorrow or the next time I see you anyway. I got a question for you. Why could you not find a greatest common multiple for a group of numbers? We can find the least common multiple. Why not the greatest common multiple? Okay, chew on that for a little while, digest it, bring me an answer. I'll see you next time I see you. Looking forward to it. See you then.